and to talk more on the market and what should we expect going ahead we're joined by peter cardlo of spartan capital securities good morning peter thanks for joining us on market cafe on et now uh look at what the us markets as well as the european markets are doing we knew that the covid-19 case uh, covid-19 is here to stay we expected a second wave but uh, look at what the markets are doing and what do you see uh, the way forward for the markets now yeah well obviously you know what happened yesterday is we had a steep decline and it was mostly due to the uh spiking um uh new co- corona vi- ca- cases and of course you know there's another factor uh, to this and that is that uh, uh it does appear that Joe Biden um is uh, uh possibly going to win uh, the elections and so that throws a monkey wrench into um the stimulus which uh means you know that uh, uh probably uh, we won't get any stimulus package if he wins um until uh, he um he, until he is inaugurated and um that means uh, at least another two and a half months away and so that also is a factor in the market uh and um uh what the lockdowns uh in Europe in France and in Germany um this is uh, um a great worry for investors because uh it could mean that um uh we could see the global recession uh peak out of the recovery and uh go towards another um go and go and go towards uh, negative economic activity Oh uh, Peter let's talk more about the US elections like you said that uh, the polls are indicating that Joe Biden will indeed uh, may go ahead rather and win the US elections as of now if you see the polls are showing that nationally he is leading uh, Donald Trump by about 10 percentage uh, points but uh, def- uh, Trump has time and again said that he will uh, go ahead and contest the poll verdict as well so that also is weighing on the markets Oh absolutely no question about that and I think that's probably you know the biggest fear uh a contested election and of course uh, uh the possibility of that is uh um is quite uh, real at this time so um if Trump does lose and there is some uh, reason to contest it I'm sure he'll go ahead with that and um I remember during the um um the uh, Bush Gore era uh when we had a contested uh um elect- election uh we waited uh um two months and the market uh certainly uh was under pressure in the sense that uh, there was no clear direction what the tech stocks are doing peter there are many analysts that have said that it looks like the tech sector is in a bubble what are your views on that Well, I don't want to express my views on as uh, to whether there is a tech bubble or not, but in a general um we'll, we'll say that uh you know a- a- any uh stock is subject to uh declines in this type of uh of an atmosphere and uh if the coronavirus situation worsens and the economy um should begin to falter and uh we had to a double dip recession uh obviously um you know the the market is going to decline and certainly um everything will be hit all right peter thank you for joining us this morning give us your view on what's actually uh, ailing the markets in the united states that was peter carlos from capital